Also, also, I learned. Uh, I learned that M- McDonald's was uh, the colors red, red and yellow, and the arches meant meant that rainbow stuff. The rainbow stuff, rainbow stuff. Uh, the the arches meant uh, the rainbow stuff. That, that I wrote, so it's like arches, but it's like metaphors. One, two, three, or one. The, the first chakra, the first chakra, and the end of the end of the thir- third chakra. Third chakra. So it's one, one and three, and I think I learned game and watch. That whole thing was maybe what my life was about, possibly, but I don't think so for sure. But it was like that where it was uh. Yeah, yellow. Yeah, one. Well, I think I learned the spot that I'm in is like one percent, two percent, and three percent, three percent possibly. I don't think they always tell you what you are. They're like, yeah, he's like a three percent or better, possibly. And even like the third cha- the third chakra, the the affirmation that open opened opened my opened my my third eye was I do. And if you rearrange it, it's I O D, I O D like overdose. If you look up what an overdose is, I O D. That was just something. Uh, still something there. I don't know if anyone keeping up with a. And then it was uh also. The uh, game and watch thing, uh, the McDonald's, the McDonald's thing. Uh, even like Debbie, Debbie, Debbie Salt from Scream Three, Scream Three. That was even what that was about McDonald's. Uh, and like the one to three percent, the game and watch thing. Uh, and then yeah, the other thing that two point nine, like I said, it was one point. Yeah, point nine is like a, or or better. It was one percent, and the one point one to one point nine was the two percent, and then two point one to two point nine was was a was a three three percent. So if you look up, I got pictures of that syrup. My mom's mom bought it, the to the twenty nine uh, maple syrup, and then the, that was the thing about the waffle because of these posters with the waffle looking things that I was using using to get rid of these demons. And then uh, even the look at the Zapdos Pokemon card. Uh, and the and the and the, but uh, Mol Moltres Pokemon card Pokemon card uh only it's Bla Blaine's Blaine's Moltres and Zapdos or Team Rocket Zapdos, Team Rocket Zapdos. Now the thing about Team Rocket was the Moonraker thing Moonraker and that ninety seven because they matter for their life like a spaceship. And then also the thing about the Last Saint is like all those James James Bond movies were like all all, all alright and then eventually the Moonraker they were in space. That was the thing about the last object shapeshifter might be like something like that, where he has like lasers or something in cars. But then it was, um, and I don't think it's necessarily me, perhaps, but like I said, but it was like something like that. I think where it was uh, how that goes with the last object shapeshifters, object shapeshifters. But it was like that where, uh, yeah, the last the plasma plasma grenades or something you could look up in Halo Three, Halo Two, Halo One, and like that's why it was plasma. On that Zapdos card, uh, uh, T- T- Team Rocket Zapdos, that Pokemon card, that was a card I used to have about back when it came out. Back when it came out in like two thousand one, I think it came out, or two thousand, something like around there. It was like nineteen years ago, and uh, it metaphors plasma. Even the color yellow was it because of three uh, percent and the yellow chakra. And then it's uh, the hit point at the top right says seventy because the seven, seven, eight, nine are the last three. Uh, Single single digit numbers, so it's like seven is three, seven is three, eight is two, nine is one. And I'm not sure if gold dust from WWE was like a top one percent, but I think it was like a three percent or something like that, or one percent. And then also Blaine's Moltres. If you look up, uh, I don't know. I thought it showed someone Mr. Blaine. I don't know. That's what they called headshots with snipers, because you can kill him in the if with a headshot with one shot with a sniper. If you kill him, if you hit him in the head. Uh, two shots in, in the body, one shot in the head. So it's Blainer. They always called it Blainers. If you look at what a Blain is, it's like something with like a hit to your head or something. I think they called it. There's some like strong hit to your body or something. But it was like that where that was uh what the Blain thing was about. And they they were metaphoring like a two percent or a one percent because it was like an orangish red color. And then G- Giovanni's Gyarados was the boss of Team Rocket, so he was the boss. They metaphored like a top one percent, guaranteed. And then like uh Blain was missing. There's this Pokemon card called Blaine's Last Stand. Also, I'll show you that was a good card, where it's pretty. It almost was talking about me if you saw him was battling these demons all day. And also, the real God does enjoy entertainment, so shaking your head would entertain him a bit. You know, it's always important to worship these real gods and pray for information. And then I also did fix my sub speaker. I did fix that sub. Uh, 
I don't know, it didn't look that clean, but somehow it just started, like it said, it wasn't working, and then eventually it, somehow my dad fixed it or start, started to work. I, remember, I think the angels have like a kill switch to stop it from working and let it work again at, later or something. Or something like that, but it was like that where uh, something really happens where it works now. And I'll show you other songs later on it, but it was way more uh, important to have this type of thing, I thought. Or it was in ca the case, but uh. And then uh. That was the thing about that division thing, uh, just know from what I learned, I think a lot of, this is what I was learning from, uh, Jesus, I think he was saying, like, a lot did already happen to some other bottom, 1%, 2%, 3%, maybe something like down there, but it wasn't nothing that happened sometimes, sometimes everyone, everyone does have a past, sometimes you were bombing people, killing people, sometimes the higher God does see something, he remembers what he probably... Well, he probably read that he saw it, because he knows he saw it, saw it so just know it was um, way more real. How past like that, but it uh, could have happened. And then even Bendak Starkiller from uh, the Knights of, Knights, of, not Knights of the Old Republic video game. Something to check out in Sherrick from the Knights of the, Knights of the, Old, Pro the Old Republic game. Uh, Bendak Starkiller... Was like a duel. He was like a duelist in a dueling ring, like where they like played, where they like dueled each other, and like I don't know. He was like that was metaphoring a three percent, like he can beat the one percent at anything, at at anything, and at like basically at anything, and uh, and it was like like anyone who's like a celebrity, like Justin Bieber or anything like Donald Trump, anything like that. He's always like a star killer, anything like a star, like a movie star, or anything. He's always better than them. You know, it's always cooler than them. Uh, Cypher from Halo, Cypher from, uh, the Halo 3 game, I think, was a good, was a real 3%, but he was playing on 7 sensitivity by force, but he doesn't play on 7 sensitivity, but the games were rigged anyway, so it was like, didn't even matter, that was the thing about the 7 sensitivity also, I remember, I remember, he, from what I remembered, he was on 7, 7 sensitivity, and he was like, supposedly pro, but he was good, but, and I'll show you this other game where I think he was in the game, but I'll show you, um, Later, but it was um. Even Mad TV, I think I did, I did learn the whole cast. If you want to look at a, uh, the Mad TV, this skit from a uh, Trina, it's like Trina's candy shop where she's always smelling her finger. But they're metaphoring like a two percent. How they like talk about uh. How they talk about, like having sex with like feces, but it was something like that where um. Uh, and just know I did learn like all that that division stuff was real. I'll, also, I think I did learn like something like top three percent, two percent. Maybe even like top 10%, top 9%, and like stuff like that. It's higher. Don't have sex with anything like that much lower than a top bottom, than a bottom 50%, maybe. To, to entertain the higher gods is like a way to show them, to, to, to entertain them, to show them that you're like trying to worship them. This is something I think might be happening. Like Jesus, I think, showed me maybe something that was saying how like, like someone like me or something, a 3%, maybe, or something like a 3%, if I'm not a 3% or something. Wasn't having sex with anything like 29%, 21%, and anything below that. But it was like a grand number, I think. Like eventually, like like I said, it might have been way less than it seems. Uh, but it wasn't a joke. Uh, also, another thing, uh, the word hang. Also, this is what Jesus was saying. Like the the archangels in my body, they are basically like... Like that's what... If you watch the... When Joey Zaza gets killed... In the Godfather 3, eventually there's like a KKK guy that uh, shoots one of his guys. And that was the metaphor for sometimes for what really happened to God and death. And like sometimes the top 1%, if you saw what they're doing to me, it would make me fart or whatever. Like it was like that where it's like basically KKK where like I wouldn't mind. Like just like there's African people were hung uh, in the south sometimes. And, and that's kind of started the, the civil war, civil civil war to a degree, maybe a bit. Or something happened like that, like I said, uh, where you heard about it maybe. And it was like that, where that type of thing was happening with the, whatever the division these archangels in my body are. Uh, Amy and Uriel, I think. And like I think there's like 12 hitting, but it was like that, where I think everyone doesn't like... Every, I think they really got messed over, so just know it's really important to pray uh, for stuff. And it's like... I don't know, that's, that was the metaphor for God, though. It was like God is like basically that, like a black person... In, in the South, uh, at the time of the Revolutionary War, where they're getting hung by, like, the K Ku Klux Klan. 
that was something how bad I think those real gods were seeing something. Like I said, they make me far, but you don't know what the real gods are thinking. Like I said, if eventually Amy, Ariel, like I said, they, the, the, the real god is keeping a cool universe. I think is still what they believe. So this is where I'm saying that they they always God and and at death they and others like the four horsemen, see and even like others maybe anyone does see the top the, the top three percent, or something like the top three percent or some portion of the top three percent or better, would stay there forever possibly. Like this is what they always saw as possible. But this was the thing like ninety nine percent of most of your existence in the future, would be not in this type of game. So there would be no division. There'd be no need for war. But then, like, this 1% where if this happened, where, like, this game ends, we could all hang out. No one has to be an object, I guess, was the problem, maybe. I think I did learn this was the problem. So then if you came back to this, it might just be fair where everyone comes back to their division. So maybe you could somehow get... This is where I did learn there was a little change. I mean, I'm not really sure. Eventually, like I said, it almost could change. But this is just what they see was a possibility where it wasn't that stupid of a possibility where they... The higher gods were seeing how much better uh, the entertainment was. Where three percent from now on, we're always three uh, percent as long as the game returns. But like I said, most of the time there would be no game, no division, no need to be an object. So it was like that. This is what they suspect. So then, like I said, um, there no need to be molecules in an object. In an object. This is all the theories they have. Also, I learned a lot of most of Mad TV. I think all those like the real the real actors in Mad TV weren't superior, but the actual actors. Uh, the actual people like Michael McDonald, Mo Collins, and uh, Bobby Lee were actually top, like 1%, 2%, 3%. Also, Columbia. If you look at the emblem, Columbia, uh, Dist District of Columbia was where Washington, D.C. used to be, I believe. And uh, even Columbia University metaphors, metaphors the top 1%, like a special top 1%, I think. Cause that color, that, that faded blue color was like a nice blue color. That And it had a crown. If you look at the Columbia University emblems, it was, it was metaphoring a crown. That's what that color sometimes meant. Uh, if if you look at look at a Chucky Ch Child's Play two, that where where uh, Chucky kills Miss Kettlewell the, the the teacher, she was in the color like that the Columbia blue, uh, and that was the metaphor for a two percent. That was that. Also, I learned Child's Play one, two, and three were metaphoring one percent, two percent, three percent, three percent. If you look at how in Child's Play three Chucky doesn't look that cute anymore, that was metaphoring a three percent because he can't beat the one percent as well. But he can beat him, but it was that good, but it was like that where it was like different. And then two percent was where he like kills Miss Kettlewell, where where uh where he was where it was metaphoring like a two percent can basically like dot like basically does uh have everything everything over the special top one percent. And then I have some songs that I just downloaded for my speakers and it was uh way more I'll show you the, the whole all the songs and uh, there some of the songs have good instrumentals if you listen to it maybe but I don't know, it was something like, I'll just show you what I listen to, and it, without subs, speakers, it's not fun to listen to, but, um, but eventually it was like this, but it was, uh, something where I've been learning a lot, I think, but, but yeah, I'll, I'm making up one more video, I think, so hold on.